Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number 15 in my 1989 Topps Mini League Leaders Baseball Box, and how many packs does it take to complete a set? With my nifty checklist, I will keep track of my pack cracking progress to see how many packs it takes to put together the complete set of 77 cards. Since each pack has only 7 cards in it, I'll guess which category the player led their league, then I will flip the card over to see if I was right or how very bad my memory was of the 1988 MLB season. Let's get to cracking this pack. We'll mark off pack 15 and Andres Galarraga of the Montreal Expos. Galarraga was starting to come into his power hitting form. I think he was a league leader in doubles, home runs, and RBI. He was first in hits with 184, first in doubles with 42, tied for third in home runs with 29, tied for third in game winning RBI with 16, and fourth in batting average with a .302. Gary Pettis of the Tigers is next. Pettis was a speedy outfielder, but he couldn't get on base and didn't have a high batting average. He was a league leader in stills. He was second with 44 stolen bases. Gerald Perry of the Braves. Perry spent the majority of his career as a backup first baseman, pinch hitter. I think he was a league leader in batting average in doubles. He was fifth in batting average with a 300. Chris Sabo of the Reds. Sabo was the 1988 Rookie of the Year. If I remember right, he was a league leader in doubles and steals. Third in doubles with 40 and tied for fourth in steals with 46. George Bell of the Blue Jays. Bell was a power hitting outfielder. I believe he was a league leader in home runs, doubles, and RBI. Oh, I missed all three of them. He was third in game-winning RBI with 17, sixth in at-bats with 614, and tenth in RBI with 97. Steve Sachs of the Dodgers. I think Sachs was a league leader in batting average doubles and steals. Wow, I'm off today. He was fourth in hits with 175, first in at-bats with 632, second in games with 160, and 7th in stolen bases with 42. Final card out of the pack is Kirby Puckett. Puckett had a phenomenal year in 1988. I think he was a league leader in hits, batting average, doubles, on-base percentage, home runs, and RBI. He was first in hits with 234, second in batting average with a .356, second in RBI with 121, tied for second in doubles with 42, and fifth in runs with 109. Kirby Puckett was shaping up to be a superstar. After winning the World Series in 1987 with the Twins, he had an MVP type season in 1988. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also share with me in the comments what your favorite card or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number 16 from my 1989 Topps Mini League Leaders Baseball Box and how many packs does it take?